Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, David, and today is another exciting follow-up video with Katie and her beautiful 2017 Jeep. And if you don't know, Katie's been a part of the channel for years. And so tell them, what was the first car we did on the channel? My smart car. And how did you like that little thing? I love my smart car. And what was your favorite thing about that cute little booger? Um, the way it ran. All right. And how did we get it running when we did all the fluids? All the fluids. How, how did it change it? Totally. It ran just super smooth. All right. So let's let's do the follow-up on the Jeep here. So now you know the, the backstory of Katie and her cars. Let's drive this sucker. Let's do it. And if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. It's the 2017 Jeep Renegade. And we've done a lot of videos on this little guy. And uh, she said she's experiencing some changes now. I know we haven't done a follow-up on the oil, and Katie, tell them why you uh, you had this something happen with the oil in the dealer. What was that that happened? Well, it was there was a recall on the oil, but it wasn't burning enough oil for that my engine. But it was still burning so much that uh, I had to just go to the dealership before I had a chance to. Wow. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. So she went to CarMax. She bought the car at CarMax, right? Yeah. All right. And how many miles did you get it with? Uh, about, was it 34? Yeah. All right. So we're now 20, uh, 25,000 miles later, something like that. Or no, 20,000 miles later. All right. So now let's go drive. Let's All drive right. her, see what, how she's running. And then she was saying there's something with a little bit of a clunk, do you think? Yeah, there's like a thump every every now and then. All right. Are we turning up here? Either? Yeah, we'll make it right. We'll make a bunch of rights. Okay. So we'll make a bunch of right, 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 right. So you were saying sometimes there's this thump thing. Yeah, that goes like that. Oh my God, is that the same car in front of us? It is, <laughs> except it's orange. Which color is ours? Red? Red, right, red. <laughs> That's funny. So, which one do you like better so far? The smart car, or do you like the Jeep better? Well, I like the size of the Jeep. It's safer in Las Vegas. I agree. I have, like, Nothing like having a heavier, safer car. I can relate. So, uh, so the burning problem, what did they say was the problem? Did they say anything? They said that the certain So Katie probably ran out of oil, which is normal out here in the high heat. And was it like a stop and go day? Stop and go traffic or are you going fast? Well, it was the middle of winter. And oh, I all just right. Lived here, and I was on the freeway, so I was going fast. Oh my god, that's scary. Jeez. That is scary. So how's the car running otherwise? Great. Alright. And you said there was a clunking thing that was going on. What was that? But it might have something to do with the transmission or the, I can't remember what it, what it is, but I'm not sure. All right, because it seems like the transmission is shifting really good, um, and we can definitely do a transmission fluid change today. We'll just Although do Although sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, and I think it's because we've been downhill. Yeah. Straight. So we'll be making a right uphill right now, and we'll see how it shifts, but it is good to do the transmission fluid on these little cars because they shift so much. They're like an eight-speed or something crazy. And um, you're better off changing it earlier than later. So we're getting ready to go into the summer. She's at about, what, 15,000 since we did the trans? About how many miles would you say? Probably. And is it highway or city driving you're driving? City. All right, so that's the hardest on it. So that 15,000 she did is extremely abusive on the trans. So. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna go do a single drain and fill. We're gonna show you what that looks like. 
Katie will be in there. We'll show her how to do it so she'll know how to take care of her car. All right, so we're headed uphill, and Katie's going to mention this shifting. Did it do anything? It didn't now, but... Was it doing it when it was cold out? What no, was it? it just does it randomly. Are you ever hitting a bump? Do you think it could be the, the engine mounts, the transmission mounts? It could be. It could be. All right, so uh, this car has a lot of corrosion underneath it. We're going to go back, we're going to change the transmission fluid, and we're just going to show you what everything looks like. But then you're going to see the corrosion that's on this car, so I think it's the engine mounts and the, the rubbers and the bushings. So we'll see you underneath the car. It's go time. We're going deep sea diving. We're going to put Katie on the camera. And we were thinking, on account of our hair getting dirty, I'm going to go down on the ground. So, Katie, you're on the camera. You know Alrighty. what to do. And I'm going to throw on my rubbers. Always use rubbers for extra protection. It's good to be safe. And now, we're going to come down. And I'll show you what we're up to. We got our 10 millimeter uh, Allen key on our 6 inch extension with our breaker bar. Now, we're going to come right in here, inside the wheel well, we got the wheel turned all the way to the left, and now we're going to come right in between these joints, and we're going right in to this back uh, Allen key area, and there it is right there, a little bit of a stickler. So now you'll see we got her in. Can you see it, Katie? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can see where it's going in in there? Uh-huh. And now I'm just going to go this way and crack her loose. Let's see. Is that tightening? Yep, that was tightening. Oops. You can get disoriented when you're down here. <laughs> so now we got her off. Now we use our standard wrench, which is right here. Makes it easy as pie. Good old fresh apple pie. And that's righty tighty, lefty loosey. Ah! And we go right here. And we are good. And we're going to take off our fill spot first. That way we know we can feel her up at the end. And uh, we can drain her down easier. The fluid will actually come out faster. And now we should be able to get her by hand. Let's see. I'll find it right there. And there she goes. And I'm going to show you something I recommend if it's your first time. I highly recommend the penetrating oil. And that's called MP Metal Protector. This is a penetrating lubricant actually frees rusted screws, gets rid of a lot of grime buildup, lubricates hinges, latches, all different types of metal mechanisms, and it also drives out moisture. So if you live somewhere where it's very moist like this car was, this car actually has corrosion on it even though it's a brand new car because it came from a, a state with a lot of water. So because of that, you definitely want to use this on all your metal components. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. So say you were doing this the first time, you would come right here, see this bolt here? This is the drain bolt. So we're just gonna lube her up, just give her a little shake. And that's a ton, but you don't even have to do that much. But I just wanted to exaggerate so you see what it looks like. It goes on clear and it doesn't stain anything, which is great. And it doesn't have much of an odor. So we're gonna continue getting this off. And you can let that sit for about five minutes. It's good, that'll penetrate into the metal, into the cracks. So we're going to get our fill bolt off. Let's see what we got. We might have a little bit of leakage, but let's see. Because she is hot right now. She is hot. We got done driving her good. Come on, you stickler, you. And there she blows. Whoa! She's coming out. So, that's called the liquid cherry. And Katie, get a good close-up of the liquid cherry. Get in there. There you go. 
I got it. I'll give them a little close up. So that's what the liquid cherry looks like after 20,000 miles. Right, Katie? Yeah. Or, oh, if we did it, you you put 20,000 on it since you bought it, right? Yeah. So 15, about 15,000. Mm -hmm. And that's 15,000 city driving. So it looks really good. So now we're going to go right on ahead and just crack loose our um, drain bolt. So here's our fill. You can see how clean that is. And now we're going to crack our drain. And we'll use our big old breaker bar, make it easy as pie. Just like this. And she boo boo. We only cranked her down to about 30 pounds, so she came off like butter. And now she should come off like butter again. Nothing like some good penetrating oil. And on the count of three, we're going to drop our nuts. Here we go. A three, a two, and a one. And there she blows. So by opening up the fill spot, it comes out a lot quicker. So I'll give you a little close-up of exactly what that looks like. And you can see how beautiful that liquid cherry is. It's like a dream. And uh, that's after 15,000 city driving here in Las Vegas. All right, we dropped her level. She's completely drained on. We're happy with that. We're going to go ahead and jack her back up. It's time to feel her up. We're going to tighten her up. And I just want to show you, you just use a regular wrench. You don't need a special wrench to do it. Um, you don't go that tight. I'll show you how tight we go. About right there, about 25 pounds of torque. And that's it. We're good to go. All right, it's time to put our old ATF fluid in here. And I just wanted to show you what it looks like. Last time we did a triple drain and fill on the liquid cherry. So we got about 80% of the old green goblin stuff out, which we're gonna throw a video up in the right-hand corner right now. You can see what the OEM Mopar fluid looks like and how much it costs. It costs about 50 bucks a quart. So now we got the old, about three quarts out is what the initial fill is. Now we're gonna go ahead and put in the nice fresh virgin, uh, the virgin cherry, let's put it in. Negative 50 F, negative 50.3 F. Wow, look at that liquid cherry flow. Now for the squeamish part. If you can't handle large numbers, don't watch. Close your eyes now. Here's the price. Here it is. I can't watch. I can't watch. All right, it's that time to prep our easy pack. Okay, give her a good slap. Here we go. We got the 100% synthetic. And this is what we refer to as the liquid cherry on the channel. So beautiful, so clean. And this is good for double the OEM interval under severe service. Meets and exceeds all the major fuel efficient transmissions these days. A lot of them like uh, the ZF transmissions, seven speed, eight speed transmissions and uh, makes a huge difference in how fast your transmission will shift. It'll run cooler. You'll get extended life out of the transmission, probably about two to four times the life, as long as you're on a good maintenance interval taking care of it. And this easy pack inspires a lot of confidence. Not only can you hold it with one finger, not only can you stick it in and get it in any crevice, but it also holds about 1,100 pounds of pressure. So it's not just gonna burst on you. And I'll show you my prepping ritual, how I like to get in there. I usually just pop this off. I take the little cap and I just shove it in just like this. Boom. Give a little wiggle jiggle. If you want to, you can peel this off, which we're, we're gonna. Uh, but if you don't want to get it on your hands, you can just put the cap on. This isn't going to peel off. It's not going to fall in. It looks like it would fall in, but it won't. 
and then you just peel this off and then we're going to shove our tube in and we're going to start pumping in the liquid cherry so let's do it so we've got our little teeny weeny hand pump just like this we got our suck hose and we got our fill hose the top is our suck so we take the top suck hose shove it in right here we got our feel hose right here and we take this sucker and just shove it in the transmission all right here we go so we got katie on the pump we got the uh, tube in the transmission we got the suck hose right here in the easy pack easy as pie and it's you can get one of these little hand pumps at any of your local auto parts stores so that's just running right inside here you can see it going right into the transmission real easy all right go ahead and start pumping nice and slow good katie just pull up and pump and there goes the liquid cherry it's flowing and this is the very fluid keep going yep nice and slow pull the handle all the way up and just go slow yep keep going hold on hold on i got it now try it yep just go slow and this is the very stuff that people climb over mountains drool on buses scuba dive under seas to get a bottle of this atf fluid that's how good it is and uh just amazing the cold flow potential on this one so there's one cord in pretty much just about keep going we got a goggler keep going so how hard was that katie not too hard all right all right well we're on to our next one all right we're on our final easy pack and katie's gonna finish her up you're just gonna keep pumping until she overflows and that's it there's no special stuff to check on this car all you do is just fill it up until it comes out the top keep going keep going and there she blows she's starting to come out the top and that's it and if we level her out even more fluid's going to come out so these are all empty empty and empty and that's what it looks like up close oh i'll give you a little look at that. last close up and go ahead and katie and you can yank out well, can you do that go ahead and pull the hose out oh so there she goes that's what we got perfect and now it's coming out pretty good and that's what we call the pure virgin liquid cherry look how beautiful and pure it is you know a lot of people they ask me even why do you get up in the morning well i say lube to love love to lube and now it's time to go ahead and cork her up here we go ah. <clears throat> uh. oh. Right, right there. And I always say in the channel, if it ain't fun, it ain't messy. And if it ain't messy, it ain't fun. That's why the wetter, the better. Hey, and if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. Go right on ahead and tap the subscribe button right here. And then you're gonna see this little bell that's the notification bell. And what that does is it allows this to give you a little ring on your phone when I publish a new video. So when you do that, that will actually give you a notification. That way you can leave a comment on any of my videos within the first three hours. And I randomly select people for the end of month giveaway. We give $100 gift cards away, all kinds of stuff. So we'll see you at the last Saturday of the month at the giveaway. All right, we just got done with Katie's car and we're gonna give her some driving impressions with the synthetic oil protection machine, AKA the 2013 SL550. And uh, when I got this car, it drove about a seven out of 10. And now it drives like about a nine out of 10 after all the fluids. We did the transmission fluid, motor oil, the gear lube. Um, we did all the fluids, the coolant. And I mean, it just runs wow. so smooth so quiet and uh it's got the uh it's got a lot of luxury stuff in it it's, it's a little on the luxurious side for me but i was trying to find a good car 
when I tried to find a C6 Corvette and I couldn't find one, so I was trying to find a manual, 2013 60th anniversary, couldn't find it. So I ended up getting this, and in the beginning I didn't like it too much, and now I've turned into a little bit of a softy for it. <laughs> it's terrible. So uh, we're going to let Katie drive it, and uh, we'll give her the whole experience. And I figured we would just share it with you, but we'll stop here. We're going about 50. We're going to come to a stop. And now we're totally stopped on the count of three. Three, two, one. <laughs> so a little, little power. <laughs> isn't it, oh my gosh. Isn't it crazy how quiet it is though? It is super quiet. So, I mean, this car before, it sounded like total pile of junk and uh, I tell you what if I didn't get to this car probably by about 60,000 miles this thing would have been shot I think it would have been totally messed up so yeah but just amazing how quick it shifts and uh, runs so smooth in the down shifts and up shifts and it's just hard it's to amazing. believe it really runs really well it's hard to believe them but yeah we got the back massager seats which we'll show you this here. We got that. Dang. And the passenger massagers. Katie's got the camera, so there's your back massaging seats that you can control right here. And um, yeah, I mean, it's quite the car. It's uh, it's definitely a great car, but I wouldn't say it's worth what they charge for them from the factory. I think they're like $120,000 or something like that. I mean, it's definitely not worth that, but uh, you get one, you know, six to 10 years old for a third of the price. It's worth it. It's worth a third of the price. So there you go. Alrighty, I want you to check out this playlist right out here in the middle. That is on the SL550, my personal car. All the fluids I've changed in my car, you can do to yours. You're going to get very comparable results. And uh, check out that playlist. Alright, time to get some after fluid change driving impressions. So how's she running, Katie? awesome so yeah we did the motor oil change on this car check out that video up here in the corner we did the transmission fluid change about what almost a year ago two years ago and uh, that's a great video check that one up here in the corner same thing we did here you can do multiple drain and fills and we will see you back right here on synthetic oil protection check out this video here in the middle that's on all the fluid changes we did on Katie's a uh, smart car and on her Jeep and uh, well, we'll see you back right here on synthetic oil protection. Cheers bye to bye. protection, protection, protection.